welcome to the Sustainable CT Actions and Impact Preview for December 2022. Brought to you in part by our good friends at the Tremaine Foundation. Remember, the Emily Hall Tremaine Foundation seeks and funds innovative projects that advance solutions to basic and enduring problems, and we are oh so glad they do. Our headliner this month is all about Soul Smart in Connecticut Towns. They're tripping the light fantastic in a sunshine and solar sort of way. Ashford, Bloomfield, Manchester, and Stonington all made the grade. Achieving at least bronze level status in the National Soul Smart Community designation yields 20 points towards sustainable CT certification. Yowza! The most points available any one action in the sustainable CT program. Check out the entire press release for more info. The (laughs) ACEEE, sorry, we should have said that is the American Council for Energy Efficient Economy. Of course it is. Has announced a new program to aid communities often left out of climate investments. The bill receives support to develop energy-saving home retrofit strategies under the new nationwide initiative Residential Retrofits for Energy Equity, or R2E2. Last month, Executive Director Jim O'Donnell of the Connecticut Institute for Resilience and Climate Adaption, or CIRCA, helped lead a Yukon contingent, including 14 students and two of our bright young 2022 fellows to COP27. That's right, Monet Paredes was there, and you can read all about her impressions of the conference, as was Lillian Adamo, and she had some interesting insights about the experience too. Well done, 2022 Sustainable CT fellows, for your edification, your enlightenment, and your entertainment too. It's the impact, a sustainable CT podcast. This month, Emily Basham, Senior Manager of Partnership Development at the Connecticut Green Bank, brings the holiday cheer. The impact is available December 15th at sustainablect.org or wherever you get your podcasts. A sustainable CT and actions and impact this very newsletter and me speaking to you right now. It's all made possible in part by the Hampshire Foundation. The Hampshire Foundation funds partners who are finding pathways to rapidly reduce greenhouse gas emissions and helps people build resilience against poverty and climate change. Sustainable CT is independently funded. We don't receive money from government or from a university, not even from a magical unicorn rainbow money tree, no sir. So if you want to know how you can make great things happen by becoming a Sustainable CT champion, drop us a line, won't you? At support us at sustainablect.org. You'll be glad you did. Glastonbury has joined the Energy Star Certification Nation. To celebrate their 30th anniversary this year, Energy Star is awarding special one-time recognition to organizations that have earned 2022 certification for at least five buildings or plants. The town of Glastonbury has been recognized as a premier member with 36 Energy Star properties. Way to go, Glastonbury. Over in the Community Match Fund corner, Southbury's CMF project is recycling food scraps. Just in time for all that holiday feasting, yeah? In collaboration with the community, Sustainable Southbury is developing drop-off sites for residents to bring their food scraps. Follow the link to find out how you can help them make it happen. Go Southbury! And if you have an idea to make your community more sustainable, equitable, and vibrant, well, you want to contact our community outreach manager, the electrifying Joseph Dickerson, at funding at sustainablect.org. Learn about CPACE new construction financing. Join the Connecticut Green Bank for a webinar to learn about how CPACE financing can help provide capital to new construction, repositioning, and gut renovation. December 7th, noon to 1 p.m. Our friends at Project Drawdown have a new roadmap, Accelerating Action to Address the Climate Crisis. Executive Director John Foley presents research that points to which climate actions we should prioritize across sectors, timescales, and geographies to make the most of efforts to achieve Drawdown. Don't miss this. December 8th, 12 noon Pacific Standard Time. That's 3 p.m. to those of us on the right coast. Oh, we're bearing gifts for the holidays. Find out what's new for 2023 at our next coffee hour at 10 a.m. on December 16th. Program updates, new actions, gold level certification, climate leader designation, a preview of everything that's new for 2023. Okay, climate leader technically started in 2022, but it's a pilot year. It's coming to a close. All day 23 actions are live. Applications are unlocked and they're ready to go. This will be a great time to connect with us. If you have any questions about certification, recertification, climate leader, or any of the free technical support programs we have available to help you get to the next level in the new year. Remember, you can join Sustainable CT for informal discussions most third Fridays of each month at 10 a.m. We share program updates and resources, explore your questions, and strengthen the network of Sustainable CT champions. These sessions are always free. Free is good and open to all. We'd be remiss if we didn't wish everyone peace and good cheer this holiday season. Whether you observe and celebrate Hanukkah, 
Kwanzaa, Christmas, the Winter Solstice, Festivus, for the rest of us, or even some combination. We hope you're able to find peace, share a bit of good cheer, and embrace a sense of hope for the year ahead. Read all about it in this month's exciting edition of Actions and Impact, the official Sustainable CT newsletter. Accept no substitutes. Do yourself a favor and subscribe. And you can do that where the holiday spirit lasts all year round at sustainablect.org.